now that we're done working into the back loop only, we are going to remove the stitch marker and work a decrease in the first stitch. So yarn over and pull up a loop, insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn up and pull up another loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three. And then we're going to single crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. And then we are going to single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. Skip the corner, then single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches again. Skip the th fourth corner and then single crochet all the way around um, from here on out. Now we are only adding one more round of regular single crochet after this one. I do have part 15 on that one, but uh, that's essentially it of the present. If you want to check out the other video just to see what it looks like, please do. Um, it really helps me out, but if not, this is pretty much the gist of the instructions. I'm trying to get the PDF ready. I have the pumpkin PDF on my website already, and I really kind of proud of it and it's a blog post so you can get the written instructions as a blog post for free or you can purchase the pdf version in my shop all of this is still very much a learning curve for me um i do want to point out that as much as i i'm a very ambitious person and i get inspired easily so as much as i want to spend every waking moment on this i do have two children and right now, they're just a priority, especially while they're still little. I mean, my oldest is six, but um, the older he gets, the more I realize that I have a limited amount of time with our two, almost three-year-old now. So once she starts school, it should be easier, and I should be able to do more. But right now, this has just been such an incredible outlet, and I'm so grateful. I really am. And... I just wanted to say thank you, because I'm feeling sentimental. Thank you for making this so much fun. So, um, but I'll see you in part 15. Oh my goodness.